Hello and welcome back to Let's Try We're Trying Dome Keeper. This one's been on my radar for a bit and I'm really excited to try it and uh, <clears throat> key provided by Raw Fury, really appreciate you bud. Um, let's jump into it. This is, uh, if you haven't seen it and I'm sure you, you might have, it's it's been making quite a lot of good press, um, but it's basically kind of a uh, survival roguelite-ish. Uh, you know, uh, what are genre terms these days? Do they mean anything anymore? I don't know. It's it's a pretty cool game. It's got a lot of really uh, fun atmosphere, and it's quite difficult as well. I played a, a little bit of the demo on one of my streams, and uh, I definitely got my butt kicked by it. But uh, you know that that won't stop me. I uh, me being bad at video games. What else is new? Um, honestly, I feel like the the game has gotten a visual upgrade since the, I played the demo. It certainly feels a bit more I don't know juicy. Um, but, uh, what are we doing? Well, in Dome Keeper, we're gonna be digging underground, looking for uh, resources, gems, uh, useful things, and then occasionally we're gonna have to make a run for the surface in order to defend our dome. Hence the name, Dome Keeper. We have different kinds of, um, kind of dirt that we dig through. Uh, what, what's the button? Is it, yeah, okay, there it is. Um, resources actually kind of weigh you down, so you kind of have to pick and choose your battles a little bit. It might be that you only want to bring up a certain number. Um, there's a kind of subtle visual cues that I, I find are, are really pretty helpful. Um, like the, the kind of the pattern or the, the graphics of the dirt will tell you how long that they are going to take to dig through. Let's uh, try and get one of our upgrades going before we move on. Uh, yeah, this is this menu's definitely gotten a visual upgrade. Drill strength, that seems like a good one. Top speed would be good. Carry slowdown, um, those are those are good things. I think I definitely want to do drill strength for our first upgrade. Kind of surprised we haven't encountered monsters yet. I'm wondering if that bottom left icon indicates anything. I, I, I do wonder, I'm, I'm, I'm like, I feel like I'm in, in an awkward position of, like, having in-between battles, but I, I'm sure we're gonna get attacked very soon. But, anyway, let's, let's keep digging, and since I have my upgraded drill strength... Ooh, ooh, that sounds like something. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> alright, alright. Wrong button. Battle. And we have our little laser here. And, uh, it, battles, you can almost treat them as if you're always going to take some damage. It's very difficult to kind of, um, get through a battle or survive a wave of creatures without taking a little bit of damage. So, don't feel too bad about that. This game is definitely about surviving. Um, not so much, uh, like, unlike a lot of roguelites where you, you just kind of, like, upgrade to the point of being ridiculously powerful, like, right away, and then you can... Um, you know, fend off creatures without much loss. Alright, we have a bit more resources now. I'm wondering if we can display the dome's structural health. That would be kind of nice, but we want to upgrade the dome itself, I think. Um, strength would be nice. How much damage the dome shield can absorb. Uh, these are going to require other resources that we have yet to find. So we might might be that we don't uh, do that yet. So why don't we do um, speed, and that'll help us maybe get to some of those other resources a bit quicker. I feel like I'm hearing more creatures. Oh, there's some there's some more goodies. Um, our carry strength is still not great. It's going to slow us down more, but our speed is higher, so ultimately we are going to do better. Um, kind of want to just like do all of this like very loose dirt before moving on to the heavier, denser stuff. This is good. Those are resources we need to, to upgrade. Uh, oh, oh no, enemy. Okay, here we go. Yeah, this is, this one's gonna hurt. All right, that's one. It takes a little bit of time to move the laser, so that's that's gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt us a little bit. All right, that's all right. Good to move the laser to the center so that you don't have to spend more time than necessary moving the laser to the other side. 
But uh, we did get some necessary resources for upgrading the dome. This is good. We are getting down here. I'm trying to do things in an efficient way so that we can cover more ground more efficiently. This is kind of, um, I'm almost applying my Minecraft um, like strategy to digging in which we, we see the maximum amount of uh, ground at once. So this is good. This is very good, actually. So let's do three. Three seems to be a, a good number uh, to bring back. We're still pretty peppy with our speed, but, uh, you know, three is a good number. Um, so we're, what are we at? Six? Can we upgrade the dome itself? That would be nice. It increases how much damage the dome uh, can absorb. I almost want to see... Can we, maybe we can do the laser. Uh, damage 25, stun strength 0. Point. Okay, that would be kind of nice. Laser moves faster. That would also be nice. Targeting light sights to the laser, showing where it's aiming. Not bad. Um, I think we want to do that. And if we can... Oh, we don't have enough, but I, I'm going to see if I can't um, make up the, the rest of those resources right now. And then we can upgrade the actual strength of the dome oh oh we're, okay so we can't actually oh maybe we can actually I, I, it was a little bit hard to tell maybe that could be a bit more readable but uh, i wasn't sure if i was actually able to break through that um red dirt Ooh, this is weird okay so maybe we can kill these creatures before we actually take damage and we actually did on that one so that was good You might notice we have like kind of uh, in the bottom left corner, you have like a primary amount of uh, armor that will kind of recover over time and then, um, you know, less less uh, uh, renewable kind of armor, which we need to probably recover in other ways, but probably monetary or financial ways. <laughs> we have to we have to spend some resources to recover those cracks in the shield. Okay, what do we have here? Do we have enough to upgrade our armor? No, not quite. Wondering what those uh, red gems are for. What could we do there? Displays the structure. Repair damage to your dome with cobalt. See, that would be good. Um, so why don't we do that, and then we can do that. And we actually have enough to, What? what is this? Harden the dome surface to take less damage from monsters melee hits. Projectile damage is unaffected. Okay, well, and then we can do this one. Oh no, so there's a different, defense we have to do for against um projectiles install a counter that shows how many waves you've survived okay that's cool so why don't we um repair i guess we haven't we didn't maybe didn't need to do that but we're gonna harden the the, the surface so we take a little bit less damage this is nice i feel like i'm hearing monsters but i don't know if that's just me being a little bit paranoid. The, the atmosphere in this game is really a cut above. Um, for, for what this is... Oh, this is a uh, very important, actually. This is um, part of why we're here. This is basically the goal of the game, is to collect... I don't know, a certain number of these? I'm not sure how many. Pick a gadget. Drill Bert. Adopt a lovable creature that loves to dig. G carry it into the mine and drop off where you want it to work. Check back to wake it up when it goes to sleep on the job. As a machine under the dome that slowly produces water through condensation. Why would I want that? Shred the gadget and gain two cobalt. No, we don't want that necessarily. I like the idea of Drillbert. Drillbert sounds good. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna throw this guy down here. Maybe. Um, how do I? There we go. We'll see, we'll see what he does, how he does. Um, he seems to be asleep already. Uh, I can't seem to wake him up, and now I'm, I'm running out of time. Oof, okay. I'm glad that the game pauses. Oh, this guy is much faster, actually. All right, we took a bit of damage there. That's okay. We sh I, we should be okay. 
It would be it would be kind of nice if it could eke out a win on on this let's try. Okay, so he's he's doing all right. Um, I still want to work through the loose dirt quotation marks rather than moving down into the red stuff. I, don't worry, I see the resources. I'm just uh, working on our access. Oh no no no! Oh. I'm wondering if it wouldn't be worth trying to do 4-4, four, four, I think is... It's not a good number to work with. That's when you, your speed is so reduced that it, it's almost not as... Not faster than just, like, making two trips, in a way. Okay, what, so what is this? Displays the current amount of stored resources. Oh, we don't really need that. Permanently increases the structural health of your dome. That would be kind of nice. Um, I could do with a better drill, though. We don't have enough for a better drill. Improves the jetpack to move faster. The the scary thing is I don't know how renewable resources are. Like, you know, like, I've dug through quite a lot of the ground and uh, maybe already claimed a lot of the easy resources. So now we're going to have to work through some of the harder stuff to obtain. Is there is there nothing here? Oh, we got to go back. Oh, it's gonna be bad. I do appreciate that it pauses, otherwise I would probably not make it. Ever. I'd, I'd, I'd panic press some stuff. Probably I should do the flying creatures first. We took quite a bit of damage there. Little touch I appreciate, but I, I appreciate that the cracks kind of appear where the dome has actually physically taken damage. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. We, we want to be moving on this row. So that I can try... Oh, there we go. There's some stuff. And I'm, I'm trying to be a bit efficient here. So I'm moving upward. Oh, there... there maybe we can... Eh... I really shouldn't do this, so I, I'm not going to take all of them. I'm just going to take three of them. Should check on Drill Bert. See how he's doing. All right. We like we can see our health, the health of our dome, and it's not bad. It could be we could be far worse. This game gets pretty tense very quickly. Okay. I feel like the, um, the, the the demo I played, the game felt a lot more claustrophobic. Or not claustrophobic, sorry, zoomed out a bit. And I'm wondering if that's that was an intentional move. Um, Alright, so I definitely want to increase our drill strength. Um, I want to increase like our survivability as well, but you know, one thing at a time. How much damage the dome shield can abs absorb? This would probably be a really good one. Um... Well, we'll figure that out. We're, we're gonna have to go down. I'm gonna I'm gonna check on Drillbert. Uh oh. All right. Well, you gotta you gotta make tough choices, and I figured we can take more damage if I swing the laser both ways. Oh God, this is gonna get nasty. Oh no. Okay, that was that was really really bad actually. Do we we do have a bit of um, stuff we could we could repair our dome a little bit. Um, so let's do we'll do that and uh, we'll leave the rest of this for now. I really want to see where uh, Drillbert is at. I think mean, he's actually made quite a bit of progress. Wow, this is actually amazing. Drillbert, you're you're fantastic. All right, let's uh, get you down on the next layer. Hold A to pick up Drillbert again. Hit A to make it change direction. All right, so this is see this is where things become kind of untenable. Um, so I'm gonna pick up three at a time, 
And I think the next upgrade we need to do is can carry more resources at once and maybe speed. We definitely want to adapt to our situation rather than just like, oh, what was that? Oh no, I wonder if that's indicating a, a rather large wave coming our way. That would be bad. I don't have enough um, resources to make any upgrades yet, but I should, with six, I think, be able to upgrade how many resources we can pick up at once. So let's try and do that, and maybe I'll stay up here. Um, okay, improves jetpack, carry more resources. This is good. Um, I, I think we want to do speed next, and I'm going to stay here for the next wave. Because I'm, I'm definitely sensing a wave pretty soon. Yeah, and I was correct on that one. Oh god. And I, I was here and I'm still gonna mess it up a little bit. I stopped exactly one of those little dudes. So that was no good. Um, okay, so we're gonna, maybe I can carry five gems back and then improve our speed. Our jetpack speed, I mean. Could we do five of these? Oh well, yeah, that actually is kind of comfortable now. So we could do this and then do speed. All right, let's do top speed. I do want to see where Drillbert is at. We probably want to do survivability soon. I've not exactly done a great job with that. Um, this interface is kind of getting in my way because I, I keep interacting with Drillbert when what I really want is to pick up these gems. I'm hoping Drillbert will just kind of, like, move in the other direction pretty soon. So even with our carry capacity increased, seven gems is a little bit much. I do appreciate the physics of this game. Like, it's, it's it really does give you a sense of weight. Um, alright. Let's see what we can upgrade with that. Maybe I can upgrade our carry slowdown again. Mm, just barely no. Um, how about permanent increase the structural health of your dome? That could be a good move. Let's do that. I probably should upgrade the laser pretty soon. Maybe laser speed. Um, strength HP would be good. How much damage the dome shield can absorb. So yeah, you can see we have, we have dome shield and then we have our actual health. Oh, I think I just heard an enemy. Yes, I did. Precisely when I meant to, I just got an achievement. Okay. We did take a little bit of damage there, unfortunately. But, we're okay. So, Drillbert, you know, how, how are you doing? You, you are not, really. I think maybe he only goes to the right. So what we got to do is drag him all the way over to the left and uh, get him in a good spot where he can do some damage. All right, so let's just drop him there. I'm trying to drop him. There we go. Yeah, he's, he seems to be a very, uh, he's kind of like the, the guy from Zoolanders. He can only move, he can only turn in one direction. Um, so he's, he's good now. We should be able to, like, having a little bit of passive income like that is a good idea. Can we upgrade the laser, I wonder? Um, laser speed would be a great thing, I think. Uh, oh, you know what? Let's do the shield. What is this? Trigger an active combat ability that creates a deadly field effect around your dome for a short time. 
Ability duration, three seconds, 20 blast damage per second, blast three, stun three uses per battle one. Overcharge strength. Use water to manually overcharge your shield so it absorbs more damage in the next wave. Okay, so that's what we like. That's why we like water. Oh, look, we can upgrade Drillbert. Treats, treats grow at the next, at the nest under the dome. Take them to Drillbert, who will happily gobble them up to get energized. Wow, this is really cool. Drilling 300 H, uh, hits. I really shouldn't do this, but I think I, I, I kind of want to upgrade Drillbert a little bit, and then let's um, let's do let's see if we can upgrade that shield. And uh, we'll also do a little bit of digging ourselves. See if we can't get some more resources. Oh, this is good. We can uh, repair the dome with that. And I will take that up. Oh God, okay. I just need this one block. This is where you get greedy. But I just need the one so I can upgrade our armor. Did not mean to do that. Oh God. Upgrade the armor. And then battle. I'm just gonna have to unfortunately eat that damage. Gotta make choices here. We should be able to upgrade the dome, or, or sorry, repair the damage here so that this is not a big deal. Okay, upgrades, repair, we're good. That's, uh, that's so that I can meet up with Drillbert when he gets off his butt and actually works. Yo, Drillbert. My dude. Oh, you can- you can switch him. You can switch his direction. Okay. Good to know. Um, let's just, like... Clear a better path here. I'm not exactly sure how to like wake him up properly. Um, you know, it's a little bit finicky, but it's it's fine. It's working, sort of. All right. Do we have enough to do anything here? Displays the time until the next wave of hostile. You know, this could actually be an uh, unexpectedly useful um, little little a addition. Um, we do want to upgrade things like, uh, you know, our jetpack, but I think our next one is probably laser damage. Uh, we might have enough time to make some, do some damage down here, but probably not. Alright, we can pick up this exactly the one gem. This is, uh, this is really cool. I, I really do appreciate the music, graphics, atmosphere in this game. Oh, we did- I made a cri critical error there and left the laser on the left side. Well, I- you know, it worked out, but you don't really want to do that. Oh, no. No. No, no, no. Okay. Ooh, there's some lightning bolts going on. Alright. Not sure what those lightning bolts mean, but I think maybe it's just a little bit of extra atmosphere. You know, I, I just realized I've left a lot of real estate on this right side here. There's probably- there might even be another artifact. There we go. There's something. Let's, uh... Let's dig a bit deeper before before I collect that. Okay, um, so that's that's pretty much good. Let's collect this one. I'm actually I, I might um, tell Dilbert to move the other way. There we go. And actually, I'm gonna have him go like one more deeper. 
I, I hope that means what I think it means. Oh, I just barely grabbed it in time. I don't think we have enough to upgrade anything substantial. Oh, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Um, no, I, I kind of want... Well, I wanted to do laser strength, didn't I? Um, at a targeting site, the laser showing where it is aiming. Install a swivel head into the laser that automatically corrects your aim if it comes close. Oh, interesting. That's kind of cool. Um, I don't know what this stuff is. Installs a second tur laser turret, but splits your firepower between both of them. Or uh, massively improves the power of your laser, but it barely moves while firing. Interesting. Max laser movement speed. Oh, you know, that's this is really cool. Okay, so you can make you have to make a choice at some point here. Um, we don't have enough to upgrade the the sh the, the armor again, unfortunately. Uh, we don't really have enough time to, to go down again, so I'm just going to get into position. I think I do actually hear Jilbert down there doing its, doing his thing. Okay. Oh. Alright, and... Oh. So we're gonna unfortunately eat some damage there because I made a choice. Okay, we can uh, we can possibly repair this damage. This is not a big deal. I definitely feel like this game has uh, under undergone a lot of really good developmental changes um, since I last played it on the demo. And here's, we have another artifact. So that's really good. Let's uh, grab this stuff as well. I'm just gonna grab four of them because I think that's all I need for the next laser upgrade. This is gonna be a little bit heavy, but shouldn't be too bad. In fact, I might even be able to risk taking a second trip down because uh, we'll be halfway towards the next wave. But getting this other artifact could really make a big difference. Drillbert definitely made a huge difference. Restore converter can convert resources, helping you balance your resource inventory. Oh, that's interesting. Install a laser that auto targets and stuns monsters. Um, definitely, I think we're, I'm feeling the squeeze on survivability, so let's do that. And then I'm going to upgrade the laser. Uh, we'll probably do swivel speed next. So I should have enough time to go down and grab some more stuff before our next wave hits. Kind of curious if I missed anything here. Nope. Yo, Drillbert. I appreciate you, and uh, you know I want the best for you, but also get back to work or you're fired. I don't mean like I'm, I'm going to leave you of your duties. I mean like, you know, the, it's the incinerator for you, bud. Because, you know, uh, I don't know what Drillbert's made out of. But, like, probably we could, uh, you know, use him to upgrade the dome. This is all probably in very bad taste. Uh, so we got some good resources here. Uh-oh. Okay, this was pretty good. That, uh, our new laser is, uh, a little stun laser is, is, is pretty nice, and it also afforded us some more time. What do we have? Four and three. Maybe we could do another little upgrade like this. We get a little blast effect. Use water to manually overcharge. Um, your shield so it absorbs more damage in the next wave. We could, maybe, I don't know. Fire endurance. The stun laser cools down faster and fires for longer. As a small amount of damage to the stun laser. That could be really good, actually. Um, we could upgrade Drillbird again. What is this? Drillbird gets an identical twin, Drillium. <laughs> That's fun. We could get him coffee. We'll work for much longer before getting sleepy. 
Um, I'm gonna upgrade his uh, his bits. A simple AI will control the stun laser even when you are not inside the control station. Oh, that's kind of nice. That could be really good, actually. I love that synth wave kind of kick in right there. Oh, nice. Good, r bountiful resources. I'm gonna have to go check on Drillbert because uh, he probably is uh, back on his uh, on his BS, you know. Sleepy Drillbert, you know how he gets. That's right, he gets sleepy. Not even gonna check the upgrades on that because uh, we we really gotta keep going, keep moving. Let's uh, check on Drillbert. Where is he? Oh, he's over here. Okay, buddy. Yeah, there you go. I'm just gonna let you drill that one out. And then I'm gonna collect six more of these. I think that's like right now my maximum load that like gets me, it still gives me a bit of brisk movement. And also because of the physicality, because like of, of the physics of these resources, you, they can get caught and maybe slow you down a little bit more. I'm not sure if I'm just like kind of reading into that. All right, that's good. Um, so what are we at? We're at 12, we could upgrade our drill, but I think that we should um, probably improve the laser movement speed would be good. Um, maybe, I don't think, I, I don't really feel like I need to uh, repair the dome right now. Oh, but I definitely feel like I need to stay here. Let's, let's do that. I know there's, there's one left over. Definitely feeling a lot peppier with the, the speed. I'm thinking laser damage next. There's a lot more, there's a lot of gems down there, unclaimed. So that's gonna work out for me. Okay, it's six, that's the limit. Maybe we wanna do carry amount next. Cause we're getting to the point where it's quite a long time to get down there. So making multiple trips is not really great. I think we do want to do carry them out next. Let's uh, see if we can't do that now. Yes, we can. Let's do that. We should be able to do one more trip. I might want to do speed next. Where Where is Drillbert? I guess he's already on the right side. Should be able to go and wake him up and get him moving again. Oh, found some more resources. Good job. There we go. Oh, I only have five. Okay, let's we'll pick up that one because it's convenient. And let's just get it up there. All right. Just barely made it. Um, kind of want to do this one little AI thing here. Because, well, I don't know. It might, might not be worth it, honestly. Um, what do we have the resources for? No, not laser speed, unfortunately. Just barely not move speed either. Um... Nothing really. Okay, well, I guess we'll just leave it as is then. Okay, nice. Oh, good. Diversify our um, damage here a little bit. Ah, 
could have made it, maybe made it without taking any damage here. All right. Well, that wasn't awful. It could have been could have been way worse, honestly. All right, we're getting we're getting pretty deep down here. I think I might even want to uh, upgrade our, our, like, um, carry capacity again. My dude. Wake up. Actually, I want you... maybe... no, you're good. You're good. I just want to make sure I carry as much as I can now. Since I spent you know, resources. Upgrading it, may as well. Ah, that's actually nice. I wish it was more, because we could maybe get that last upgrade. Uh, I don't know if there's really anything left in some of these upper parts. Yeah. Not really much point in digging some of that out. Like, there, yeah, maybe there's something, but, um, like, there's a pretty good chance it's all gone. Um, let's, up, let's fix... Oh, we do have enough. We do have enough for this last one. Harden the dome surface more to take less damage. So that's actually really good. Yes, it puts us in a risky situation because we don't have an, enough to repair the dome in a, in a bad situation, but... I'm gonna take that chance, uh, and I think I want to upgrade the. Uh, I didn't. Re I thought I got this third um, carry slowdown one, but I kind of want to get this um, movement speed. I don't need to worry about the drill strength as much because Drillbert is kind of doing quite a lot for us. I think maybe next we want to do laser movement speed or something. Maybe something for survival, like this uh, um, shield upgrade. But either way, we are going to be hanging out for this uh, this next incoming wave. And if you'll forgive me, I'm going to take a sip of my coffee while I wait. Nice. Ooh, uh-oh. Oh, there's another one. Uh-oh, uh-oh. One of the nicest thing about things about our uh, extra little laser is it um, is a very good guidance targeting system that kind of tells me exactly where to point, so I don't waste a lot of time. What is that? Is that something? Oh! Oh, is that, I think that's um, a fruit. You can um, grow uh, your, a tree in your lab that lets you kind of grow these extra fruits. To give you a bit more pep in your step. Whoa, that's, that is really peppy, honestly. Oh no. Uh, I might need to clear some of this out just so our trip back is a little bit less cumbersome. Oh, that's it. That's all we get. That was really nice though, gotta say. Um, let's... We don't have a lot of time, honestly. So I'm gonna have to mosey as quick as I can here. No. Okay, this is gonna be bad. Yeah, these these resources are not doing a good job of following me anymore. Ooh. Hopefully, our my stun laser will help me with that other creature there. 
And it did. It did, actually. Okay, things are gonna get bad. Oh, no, they get faster, huh? That guy was moving, was, was attacking real fast. All right. So we need to find something to repair some some tetra resources to repair the dome cuz we're 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 getting in a pretty bad situation now. Um where is drill Bert? Oh no. All right. I'm definitely going to need to upgrade the the drill cuz this is not okay anymore. <laughs> Oh god. Ooh. What is that? Is that anything? Oh. That's telling me maybe you're showing me a direction. Okay. This has me intrigued. Show, it's it's definitely pointing me in some kind of direction. Oh. Oh. This might be the end, actually. Let me see here. Oh no, it needs another switch pulled. Okay, so we can't we can't uh, do that yet. What we can do is get up to the surface as quickly as we can. Um, let me see if I can't make a, any kind of upgrade. We could upgrade the movement speed. Kind of want to do this. Further increases how much damage the shield can absorb. Let's do that. Ah, oh, unfortunately it doesn't give you shield. So that sucks. Um, stun laser moves faster. Adds a small amount of damage to the stun laser. Let's do that. I know I'm kind of all over the place right now. Uh, yeah, let's not spend any on Drillbird. Hoping that that little upgrade helps us with some of this stuff. Cause like, yeah, those little guys, those little, the little tiny uh, suiciders, or what do you want to call them? The, the little bombers, they, um, they don't have much health. So now the laser can actually like help with those. Okay, we might be able to open up that artifact down there. So I'm pretty excited to see what that is. This seems to be the right direction. Aha. All right, so what, what do we got going on here? Gifts from the past. Okay. I love that little uh, kind of like temporal effect happening. That's really cool. Ooh. Yeah? What's up? What, what, what's going to happen? Oh, uh oh. Oh no. Okay. Um. What? Yeah, this was uh, a mistake, huh? Oh, or not? I have no idea what just happened. 
Your dome is saved. New world unlocked, new map size unlocked. Unlock a new element. Sword dome. New dome. Powerful dome with a dynamic sword that keepers can master to dominate attackers. Repellent new gadget. Install... Oh, pick your unlock. Install a tank that produces a monster repelling liquid. Activate to spray it outside the dome, delaying the next wave of attackers. Um, the sword dome sounds pretty cool, actually. Stick them with the pointy end is an achievement I just got. Wow. I, uh, I was not expecting to win, but I, I definitely see this as being a uh, game which will get harder as you play it. Find the relic buried deep and bring it back to your home. So that was the goal. I didn't actually even know what it was doing. But the game is so compelling that honestly, like, you know, it, you could give me any kind of goal and I would probably have discovered it eventually if it involved digging and defending the dome. Um, this game is really cool and I'm, I'm really, uh, I feel privileged to get to, to try it. Um, it's, it's just one of those ones that's probably going to end up in my uh, rotation. I'm, I'll probably also try it on my Steam Deck just to see if it uh how it plays on there if it's if it's a good one because i could see this being a really good time waster for uh, the evenings but anyway dome keeper um what do you think of it have you played it yet let me know in the comments and if you enjoyed the video definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this i'll see you guys next time take it easy